Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Joshua McDonald. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2024 Chevrolet 2500ZR2. Now before we get started guys, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe down below for more content, and let's jump right into it. So first things first, we'll start off with the key. You have your lock, unlock, remote start, and tailgate functions, as well as the panic button. Up front on the ZR2, you notice we have these LED headlights with the blacked out grille. Also with the Chevy flow tie. Two red tow hooks up front with a black bumper. You also have this really aggressive hood scoop. This is a diesel, so it has the Duramax badges and the ZR2 badges on the fender. Right here we have these Goodyear Wrangler tires with a two inch factory lift. You can see behind here you have the Multimatic suspension. On the side we have the automatic running boards. So if we walk up and open up the door, those will come out automatically and then they'll fold back in when you close the door. You have a nice little step right here so you can step up into the bed. If you have like a toolbox or something back here, you can easily access it. Same suspension in the back. See we have this big exhaust tip for the diesel with a spare tire underneath. We have all of our towing hookups in the back. We have our tow hitch. We have all of our light hookups. And then this is to get the spare tire out using your tool. We also do have the multi-pro tailgate. So this top button will drop the top portion so you can use it as a table. Or you can lift up, use it as a load stop if you're carrying longer objects. You can also put this back down. Drop the tailgate and it'll act as a normal tailgate or you can hit that top button again and then this will swing down fold this down and use it as a step to get up into the bed and you also have this lever right here so you can get up nice and easy but we'll get up in the bed see so you have a your 120 volt hookup all of your tie downs, you have the holes for your gooseneck trailer. We have the spray in ZR2 bed liner. We also do have our light hookups for the gooseneck trailer, as you can see. So we'll step back down. And to put this back, you just pull on that lever, push it back into place. And we can lift the tailgate back up, just like that. You also have a black Chevy bow tie badge on the back. You have your diesel exhaust fluid and your diesel fill ups. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat. So you can see we have the ZR2 interior with the yellow stitching. Really nice seats in the back. You also do have the storage behind the seats, of course. And if you lift up, you have your storage underneath the seats. You have your tools right here to get your spare tire out. You got some other goodies on the other side. We'll put that back down. Just to give you an idea of space in the back, I'm about six foot. This is how I'm currently sitting. Plenty of space back here, plenty of headroom. You can see you have a divot in the roof for more headroom. The back seat is also heated. You have all of your phone plug-ins, you have your AC vents, all that stuff back here. A storage pocket behind the seat. But on this one, you can see it's a 2024 2500 Crew Cab ZR2 four wheel drive, slate gray metallic with the jet black interior. MSRP on this one is 87,905. And we'll go ahead and walk around, take a look at the outside before we head in. But this is a really sweet looking truck, especially with the black grill, all the red accents. I also love the slate gray color too. So you have those giant off-road 37 inch tires. 
really makes the truck stand out. Let's go ahead and hop inside the driver's seat, start it up, and then we'll go over some features. First thing you'll notice is you have the Bose audio system. You also do have a few buttons on the door. This one will slide your mirrors out if you're towing something. This one will fold them in, as you can see. You can also fold them back out. You have memory seats on the door. You have an electronic parking brake with all of your four-wheel drive controls. You also do have different drive modes, which I'll go over right now. So we'll hop inside. Before you start up, you can see this cool little animation on both the screens. So you can remember that you're driving a ZR2. Not just any regular Chevy, but we'll go ahead and start it up with our foot on the brake. So with the different drive modes, you can just flip it to the left or to the right. So we have an off-road mode and we have normal mode. We also do have a towing mode if you press this button. All of our light controls are right here. We do have our adjustments for the heads-up display. So you can turn the brightness up or down. You can change the info and you can also move the heads-up display up or down. This is what the heads-up display looks like. The camera is not the best at picking it up. It looks a lot better in person. But just to give you an idea, that's what it looks like. And there's all of your different information. We also have a heated steering wheel. We have cruise control buttons. We have our forward collision gap adjust. We have all of our controls on the right side of the steering wheel to navigate through that center menu. So we can go up and down, left and right. We have settings, we have phones, we have navigation, audio, and our information panel that'll show you your fuel mileage, your tire pressure, oil life, brake pad life, everything you need to know about the vehicle. You can also see what drive mode we're in. We're in two wheel drive. Our fuel range is low because we have no diesel in this thing and it only has eight miles on it. As you can see, we have this giant storage pocket right here. The shifter is the good old old school shifter. So if we go in reverse, you can see we have the surround view cameras. We also have a bed view. We have all the views in the world. So you can see around this big old truck and see what you're doing. You can also turn off the surround view and just have the backup camera, whatever your preference is. So there's your shifter guys. We'll go ahead and put it back in park. We have our screen here with our audio. You have AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, as well as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth. We have our built-in Google Maps. We have all of our cameras that I just showed you. A few different apps up here to play with. Really nice infotainment screen is absolutely huge. I think it's 15 inches is what the Chevrolet website said. We have a wireless charger right by the center console, which is also in that yellow stitching. See, we have a ton of storage in the middle. We have a three prong outlet, a couple phone hookups right there with the USB C. And here's the seats up front, guys. So you have the nice ZR2 yellow stitching with that sweet color combo. And we have not one, but two glove boxes. So tons of storage space inside this thing. We also have our trailer brake controller. You can adjust the uh, gain on that. We have an exhaust brake, lane keep assist, parking sensors. We can lower the tailgate from inside the vehicle. Hazards, traction. This button will roll all the windows down. We also have our rear locking differential with the hill descent control. We also have cooled seats, heated seats on the driver and passenger side. And then this is all of your AC controls right here. It does have the dual zone climate so the passenger side can be different from the driver's side. Couple more phone hookups right there, because why not? A Little bit of storage right below the center console. And we also do have our sunroof. So our sunroof controls are right here. We can slide it back all the way, slide it forward. And we can also tilt it up just like that. 
A rear window also opens and closes using power. And we have three different garage door openers up there, all of our OnStar buttons and light controls. This is also the rear view camera mirror. So you can have it the traditional mirror or you can have the camera, whatever your preference is. But all in all, really sweet truck on the inside. But make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think of the 2024 2500 ZR2. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it and subscribe down below for more content. But I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you.